Dear engineers, welcome back to School of Civil Engineering with SM Hedaidullah. So in our previous lecture, I've just shown you about the types of trust, that how will analysis the types of trust, and in this lecture, I'm just going to show that how will analysis these types of bridge trusses, right? So um, actually, this is the last type of our uh, trust analysis, and I hope you will be able to work or you will be able to analyze any types of trust in future. If you was or that um, for a lecture and here I have uh, almost tried to discuss about some trust that are in major and by seeing that you will be able to discuss with another any types of trust. Okay. So uh, first of all, we will draw the grid system for that. Okay. So I will just go here and I will click new model. Okay. So here that is. And first of all, I will uh, open the initial unit, okay, kilonewton meter, and uh, okay, uh, I'll just consider that here our load, I mean our distance are in meter, okay, distance are in meter, and our load are in kilonewton. Actually, you can change that; it's up to you. By clicking here, you can simply change that. I'm using kilonewton meter, okay. So when it's done, now I'll simply click here grid only. And first of all, we have to select the grid system from here. So in X direction, how much grid will need? And 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 grid in X direction. And Y direction, that will be 1, you know that. And for uh, Z direction, the upper direction are in Z, 1, 2, 3, 4, 4 grid. Here, 4 grid. And the grid spacing X y um, will not consider y and grid spacing x i'll just consider that from one grid to another grid this distance is uh, okay consider two meter that is two meter okay that is two meter and uh sorry uh, for z that is two and for uh, so for x that is 2 and for z actually they have uh, will consider different types of distance for that one will consider 2 meter for that one will consider 1.5 meter and for that one will consider 1 meter right so for that i'll simply go here and uh, randomly i'll just go here to uh, 2 and after that we'll go for change so when it's okay then okay and I'll right click to change that distance global then modify and for Z that is I'll click a spacing okay so from Z on to Z2 that is 2 from Z to Z3 that is 1.5 and for another part that is 1 okay after that I'll simply click ok and ok so it's done and here if we click uh, ZX so here is our this is for two, uh, ZX direction and this is for 3D okay so when it's done now I'll just go for uh, I'll just go for trust uh, drawing okay so here first of all we'll now we'll draw our trust right so here here uh, i'll just take line and i'll consider any types of uh, section because we'll not consider the cell for it of it okay so from here i'll just go for it randomly okay now i'll see here here from that point to that point we have to draw okay from that point to that point that point to that point i'll just go here from here here uh, here 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 and here almost like that okay so I'll just escape that after that we have to uh, draw line in that direction okay so here in that direction right 
so I'll just draw that here one is keep and again from that point to that point one is keep from that point to that point one is keep and from that point to that point another one is keep and from that point to that point that is another one and from here we'll go for our that 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 and that right so for that from that point to that point escape from uh, that point to that point escape from that point to that point escape again from that point to that point okay i hope it's okay yeah it's okay our frame is okay now now we'll uh, Ascent support. So here will ascend support that that one will be joint restrained and that will be uh, paint applied and that support that will be roller applied. And before uh, applying load, we'll just I didn't uh, I mean we'll provide the self weight mod, uh, multiplier that will be zero because modify because we will not consider self weight of that frame okay only analysis the truss for external dead load okay so here for every point that point that point that point that point that point okay i will assign some point load okay i will assign some point load All right and here assign I'll just go joint load then forces and for that point that point that point that point and that point I will ascend same types of load same types of load if you need you can ascend different types of load okay so here I will consider uh, that that will be in global minus Z that minus and uh, kilonewton that should be okay 25 kilonewton right that will be 25 kilonewton then apply so here the 25 kilonewton load have applied it in downward direction right and if you need to apply load here for any other case you can apply here suppose if you consider that here we have load here 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 also you can apply that so i'll just select that on that point also okay and here I'll, I, I'll consider that that here for every point it will consider 10 kilonewton load then apply then okay so here our applying load that is absolutely okay now we'll go for analysis i'll simply click here and will not uh, uh, run our model for i mean uh, our that model for model i'll just not run then run analysis and i'll select trust analysis for Okay, so wait for some time. Just see here. This is the okay. Um, actually, here uh, this is the maximum esters diagram. Okay, sorry. So uh, first of all, I'll just click here display, then show different shape. So we'll see where it will differ and how much it will differ automatic. Okay, then apply. Just see here, or that structure will deform like that way. Okay, it will uh, deform like that way. And uh, after that, then wear shadow. Apply. Actually, that is the main. Okay, that is the main structure, and it will deflect like that. Okay. So actually, we can change that option so it will deflect like that way okay so i'll just close that after that i'll just come here display then stress then we'll see the reaction apply so here the reaction 87.5 87.5 and it should be you know that so close that after that i'll go for display then here i'll go forces and first of all s one on apply yeah 
here is this on on and we can see the field diagram where field diagram okay so here that is the mistress one on and this is press to total and press to three okay sorry not stress we'll go for forces first of all this is for axial forces okay this is for axial forces the rate are showing that are in compression and the blue are showing that is are in tension so for shear two apply this is for shear two shear three they have no for shear three and moment for three apply this is for moment three okay so in this way actually you can find out your result from here and i hope you'll be able to work that in future for any types of trust so from our next tutorial we are going to start about building design and analysis okay so first of all we'll draw a multi stride building then we'll go for analysis it and after that we'll go for a steel structure design and um, after that we'll uh, draw foundation or we'll uh, design foundation from that truss and we'll transfer that from uh, i mean from sap to safe 16 okay so thank you thank you very much still stay connected till next video and if you think that that's helpful for you must subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first